Oh, yeah. So today I am drinking a brand new wine I'm really excited about. It's an Alborino. So here's the deal. I finally pulled the trigger and tried Bright Cellars. This is a recommendation from my friend Tina and boy am I glad that she recommended it. I was over at her house the other night and she had this incredible stock of wine and she's like, oh girl, I just do Bright Cellars. It's the best decision I ever made. I'm like, well, I want to try that. And ding, 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 winner, winner, chicken dinner. So basically, you know, you fill out like a questionnaire on the website and they send you wines that make sense for you. There's also an option to have something like a little different sent your way so you can try new things. I feel like I'm constantly just going to the wine store and getting the same old standbys. So this is perfect for me and the wine selection they sent me, I mean, I haven't tried everything yet, but I can already tell I'm going to love it. Like they are absolutely up my alley. The bottles are gorgeous, like everything about it. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, this is it. And they send you these little cards that correspond with each bottle of wine. They kind of look like tarot cards, which I'm super into. I also feel like this is perfect for my channel because it's going to keep me trying new wines. And that's just more interesting for you guys at the end of the day too. So reading right from the card here, this is very fruit forward. It has notes of citrusy lemon peel, ripe peach with a hint of honeydew melon, balanced body and acidity. It pairs well with roasted chicken and dive in citrus salad ooh and repotting your plants <laughs> the cards have a sense of humor i love it so anyway i'm super into this whole situation i am going to put my referral code down below which i believe gets you 45 dollars off your first order mm. This is very, very smooth. It is almost like a little bit like a Chardonnay. I know, I know. I don't usually love a Chardonnay, but there's certain Chardonnays that I'm not mad about, and this kind of tastes like that to me. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kate the Great Beauty, and if you enjoy dranks, if you enjoy beauty, you enjoy makeup, skincare, all that good stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also give this a thumbs up. So we kind of have like a marathon of a favorites video here today because I don't know what happened this month, but everything that I ever loved came out at one time. Let's get going, shall we? Well, the first thing I want to mention is not a makeup product. It's not a piece of skincare. It is a person. This is a content creator that I have discovered in the last month, and I have watched every single piece of their content. The joy, I know, I know the anticipation, right? The joy that this person brings me, and I've tried to share his content as much as I can on my Instagram as well, so... If you're not following me on Instagram, like, what are you even doing? He is just so funny. He is such a pleasure. And when I am feeling just like down in the damn dumps, watching his content will make me laugh every single time. So if you have not heard of this person, you're welcome. His name is Kevin James Thornton. He basically became famous on TikTok kind of overnight. Okay, hold on a second, because I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, are you asking me to get on TikTok? Well, no, you don't have to because he's also on Instagram and he's trying to grow his Instagram too. So I guess you could do that as well. He's just fantastic. I just don't even know how to sum him up in words. So I'm actually going to show you a clip right now of a little bit of his content. When I was in college in the 90s, everything was so dramatic. Like you'd call your friend at two in the morning and say, I think I'm going to change my major. And your friend would be like, oh my God, we have to meet and talk about it right now. And then we'd go to this place called the family kitchen and drink coffee and smoke cigarettes all night. And I know that's disgusting but you have to remember it was the 90s and then you'd be like I don't think a musical theater major is very practical and my real passion is pottery and your friend would be like well you have to follow your passions then we'd order a basket of seasoned fries and pay for it with our financial aid and I didn't realize it at the time but I'd be paying for those seasoned fries for the rest of my life and the moral of the story kids is don't go to college go and follow him on instagram 
get a TikTok account and follow him on TikTok, God forbid. If you go and follow him, please tell him, Kate the Great Beauty sent you. I want you to be happy and I want his content to bring you happiness, but like I also like want to be his friend. So just tell him I sent you. Okay, thanks, bye. Okay, so moving into the product, I'm going to start with a sunscreen. So this is the SkinCeuticals Daily Brightening UV Defense Sunscreen. It has an SPF of 30. So this was sent to me by SkinCeuticals and I pretty much been wearing this every day when I go out and about and run my errands. So not only is this a sunscreen, but it brightens and evens your skin tone. It blends in really well. I feel like it doesn't really leave a cast. There you go. I just feel like this is the perfect everyday SPF. I can wear it underneath makeup. It does give my skin just a really lovely glow. It's hydrating. I've heard so many great things about SkinCeuticals. I've owned two products from them and they've both been stellar. So I'm going to throw in a hair care product here. This is something that I use all the damn time and I always forget to put it in a video. You know, I have quite a few people ask me how I maintain the tone of my blonde because I like me a cool blonde situation. I don't want any trace of brassiness in my hair. I want to maintain just a very icy, white-haired situation. How I maintain that is this. These are the IGK Mixed Feelings Leave-In Blonde Toning Drops. So this is how I use it. I get out of the shower, my hair is wet, I grab some sort of like a hydrating cream or balm and I mix this into it. About three to five drops, depending on, you know, how I'm feeling about the tone of my hair. It literally corrects your color like on the spot. You know, every time I go back to my colorist, Chris, who is phenomenal. She oftentimes is like, wow, your color still looks so good. It's because of this. This is literally the reason. I'm about to go back in and get my roots refreshed because I think it's been about eight weeks. So this is eight weeks in, not mad about it. Mm. <sighs> okay, so moving on to a few more skincare items. I want to mention a mask I've been loving. This is Youth to the People. This is a brand that I've been hearing so many good things about. This is the Super Clay Purify and clear power mask. I will use this right after I steam my face and it just sucks everything out. And the great thing about this is it's not just a clay mask. It also has niacinamide, kombucha, and BHA in it. I don't feel like it leaves my skin super stripped. I don't feel dry. I mean, obviously I go ahead and use like all the hydration after something like this, but I don't feel like it strips my skin after I've used it. I know this looks a little bit like a tiny jar, but this is actually a very thick formula and you don't need much. I have talked about this at least twice at this point, but I had to put it in my favorites video because it has blurred my mind. This is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Body. It is a 12% AHA BHA resurfacing serum. It also has honey and prickly pear in it. This is going to improve the texture of your body. I use this every other day. It suggests to initially start using it two to three times a week and you can kind of build up to that. Well, I built up to that because I love it. And I mean, you can see my chest, my shoulders right now. It really, really works. It's basically like the honeymoon glow for your face, but for your body. I've really tried to start getting into body care a little bit more. Sometimes I tend to neglect that and just focus on my face. This is such an easy way to do that. And I can see the results, you know what I mean? So another body care product, this is the Kapari Pink Souffle Body Mask. So Kapari is a brand that I had no knowledge of. And I I'm gonna be honest with you, like I wasn't really that excited about it because I'd never heard of it. I was like, okay, I don't know what this is. Like, I guess I'll give it a whirl. Let me tell you, I have fallen in love with this brand. So everything they do is coconut based. This is a pink clay mask for your body. So I slather this all over, get in the shower, rinse it off, and then use this afterward. You will have the smoothest skin ever. So again, not only a clay mask, this has dragon fruit extract, jojoba seed oil, and niacinamide in it. Also this handy dandy spatula helps to just like spread it around evenly. So I'm loving that. I'm also using this nonstop. This is their lip glossy. It's basically just a hydrating lip balm. This is another one of those products where I'm like, oh my God, I'm using this literally every day, multiple times a day. And I've never mentioned it, but I'm almost out of it. So basically I'm interchanging this with my Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask. Not only is this basically as hydrating as the Laneige Lip Mask, which is kind of bananas because I never thought I'd find something like that. It also just adds this 
gorgeous shine to your lips. Like honestly, sometimes I just throw this over whatever lip product I have on and it looks like I'm wearing a juicy ass lip gloss. Also a great thing about this brand, it is clean, it is vegan, it is recyclable. I know that Kapari is currently sold at Ulta and Sephora, but I went ahead and linked the actual Kapari site in the description box. Reason being, if it's your first time, you get 10% off of your purchase. I would say if you're thinking about trying out Kapari, maybe do through their website because you're gonna get a better deal. Okay, so we're gonna move on to some makeup and I'm gonna start off with a tool. So this is the new Refer Eyelash Curler. Oh, this is the best eyelash curler I have ever used. And you guys know how intense I am about an eyelash curler. I have been using the Shiseido eyelash curler for years. And it's not like the Shiseido was like super painful or pinchy, but I don't even have to deal with that at all with this curler. I have to say, if you haven't tried anything from Refer yet, it is just so high quality, but the great thing about it is that the people behind it are so damn nice. I love supporting a brand where I feel like the people behind the brand are actually quality human beings, and that's what Refer is. You're looking for a new lash curler? do it. So I want to talk about a couple glow products that are really doing it for me. Starting off with the Beauty Pie All in Wonder Illuminating Primer. I did just put out a video that is all about the Beauty Pie brand. Love that brand. Cannot go wrong. If you have not seen the video, please check it out because it's just, it's worth it. They're a great brand and they're making luxury products affordable. So this primer I'm wearing on my face today and I'm here to tell you this looks gorgeous on its own. So it does have a little bit of a tint to it. You can see it right there, but it, it really does just blend out. So you, you can't really tell that it's tinted. If I'm going to use a primer, it's going to be illuminating with a little bit of skincare in it. And that's what this is. This has vitamin E in it as well. And I'm not always about a primer. Like a lot of the time I'm just putting on skincare and then putting my makeup on over it. But I am gravitating toward this because I love the finish of it. It is just stunning. I mean, you guys need to just prepare yourselves for the fact that I am going to have to mention a few of Lisa Eldridge's new products from her summer collection in this video because they were impeccable. This is her Seamless Skin Elevated Glow. And this is my highlighter on my face today. I mean, I just cannot get over this. So today we're super glowy because I went in with this primer and then over that on my cheekbones, I went in with the elevated glow. Let it set because this is made with biopolymers. So basically your skin is going to look lifted when you use this highlighter. This is like a next level situation. Let that set, went ahead and like did the rest of my makeup. And then I went over my cheekbones again with this. I also hit just just like right here, right here, and my Cupid's bow and a little bit of my nose. I know I'm out of control. It's just so incredibly beautiful. And like, look how easily that went on. What I will say about this is that it is so highly blendable. You know, there are so many glow products out there on the market. I know this seems very similar to the Charlotte Tilbs Hollywood Flawless Filter. You also have like the Auric Glow, which I love as well. I love them all. Damn, look at that sheen. I will say this is probably like the runniest of all of them. And I love that because I think that really adds to its blendability. It takes like barely anything to blend this into your skin. I have it in the shade Crystal Nebula, which I believe is the lightest shade. It does come in three other shades. Mwah! Chef's kiss perfection. So I feel like this video could have also been named things I keep on using but forget to tell you about it. Like this is my go-to foundation right now. This is the Kevin O'Quan Stripped Nude Skin Tint. Do I even need to bring this up again? But yes, I do blend a little bit of the Fenty Body Sauce into this because, you know, I'm a little bit a little bit bronzier. This is a sheer to light foundation, which of course is my go-to. It has butterfly bush flower extract. Never heard of that, but that sounds great. It is very dewy, but it's not like as dewy as, you know, the Say Slip Tint. Full transparency, I actually tried to use a different foundation with the Fenty Body Sauce today just to like mix it up. And I kind of hated it. Like it just wasn't setting on my skin well. So I went into the bathroom and just washed it off. And I was like, to hell with it. Why am I trying to mix it up? I'm just gonna use this because it's amazing. It really is such a blurred, natural, even finish. If you're a person who loves a dewy foundation, run, do not walk. Okay, so moving on to a one and done shadow. And this is something that I 
I think I just forgot I had it. It was hidden in the back of some drawer. This is the Armani Beauty Eye Tint Long Lasting Liquid Eyeshadow, and this is the shade 44, which is rose gold. I'm wearing it on my eyes today, and I cannot believe how beautifully this blends out. So this is the applicator. Okay, I'm doing a swatchy swatchings for you, and look at that damn sheen. What is even happening? I'm angry. The thing I love about it too is again, kind of like that Lisa Eldridge highlighter formula. This is a very, very thin, easily blendable formula. They're very similar in that way. Armani Beauty is just not a brand that is ever on my radar, but I have to say the couple things I have from them, they're flawless. I just associate it with clothing. I need to, I need to come out from under my rock. This is gorgeous. I love this. I think I'm going to have to get more. Mm. <sighs> okay, so the next section is Lisa Eldridge. The first product I want to highlight is this particular shade of her lipstick. This is called Dance Card, and if that's not the perfect name for it, I don't know what it is because it is hearkening back to just like a soft, sexy 1950s retro situation. Oh, look at that. And I wish I could fully put into words what it felt like against my skin. It just glides on. Also have to mention her glosses. I don't have every shade that she came out with, but these are my current favorites. And this shade of her lip gloss is like, amazing. This is called Charm and it is just the perfect pink shade. So gorgeous, so juicy. And the great thing about these is that while they are plushes, they're not like super goopy or thick. It actually feels kind of like a thin formula. I mean, I feel like I'm kind of a broken record here because just all of her products, the thing they have in common are that they're so comfortable. This isn't overwhelming, but it is so stunning. I feel like this is really a gloss for every everyone. It's a gloss for people who don't necessarily gravitate toward glosses, and it's a gloss for people who love glosses. This Seamless Skin Enlivening Cream Blush is it. So this particular shade I have fallen in love with. This is called Pink Poetry. I was actually going to wear it on my face today, but I decided to go with something else that's coming up here in a little bit. One of the things I love about this is it comes out like the slowest you've ever seen anything come out, but it's actually a good thing because this is incredible incredibly pigmented. Look at how beautifully that blends out. Obviously it's buildable. I could really like go to town. Such a gorgeous flush of color. This is just the perfect rosy cheek. I can't get enough of this. This is also going to last you approximately a lifetime. Okay, another cream blush that I am so excited to feature is from Salt New York and it's these two shades right here. So this is their brand new summer duo. The two shades that you're seeing at the top are absolutely stunning. It's their spring duo and I don't believe that's available anymore. So we're focusing on these right here. So this shade is called Terracotta and this shade is called Flora. We have a lot of blushes today, folks. I wanted to put these on my face too, but I really had to pick and choose. But I did do a live stream where I put these on and these together are gorgeous. It's actually how I prefer to wear them. I mean, on their own, they're both absolutely stunning. But but together they're like next level. And the thing about the Salt New York creams, they are so incredible. They are so incredibly emollient. There is Flora. And I just went ahead and put terracotta over it because I'm a messy bitch. And that is terracotta right there. Is that not just so beautiful as well? And this is the two mixed together. That's my jam right there. Salt New York can do no wrong. If you haven't tried them out, I do have a code for you. It's a 30% off code. It is Kate the Great 30. And if you purchase a bundle, you're gonna get 30% off of your entire purchase. So I was talking before about Refer and how like they're just good people people. That's exactly the case with this. Kiki, who owns Salt New York, is just, my God, she's just such a joy. She's so down to earth. She's freaking hilarious. I absolutely love her. Look at my arm. That is just like a rainbow of fun. I have to talk about these Pat McGrath blushes. This is what I'm wearing on my face today. I have five of the blushes. They are all stunning, but I want to highlight the two shades that are just calling my name all the time. First is the shade I'm wearing on my face today. This is Cherish. Just a flattering, 
stunning perfect pink it is a cherub cheek situation these are very pigmented blushes so i go in with a really light hand and build them up they're weightless you barely feel them you guys know i generally gravitate toward a cream blush just because oftentimes it feels more natural it's more glowy these go on so seamlessly i just i mean no big surprise right it's pat damagrath but i mean she's really outdone herself with these blushes so this is one of my go-to shades and I do feel like the star of the show, in my opinion, for all the blush shades is this electric bloom. This makes me angry. Like it fills me with rage. I have to tell myself to stop using this <laughs> because I just constantly gravitate toward it. I tried it in a live stream. It is just, it's next level. It is a stunner. Okay. And wrapping things up with a couple more lip products that I had to mention. This Fenty Gloss Bomb Heat, this shade is probably all I need. Like this is just the juiciest, sexiest lip. I love this formula. I love that it heats up a little bit and I really, really can see the difference in my lips. They look bigger. I love the Fenty Gloss Bombs and I think I own almost every single shade they ever came out with, but I'm here to tell you right now, this is a really bold statement. I think this might be my favorite. I think it might be. It's tough. It's tough because um, there's a lot of incredible shades, but this shade combined with the fact that it really plumps and I can see it is like that kind of wins the day. You know what I mean? And the last product I want to talk about is what is on my lips today. This is Beauty Pie's Future Lipstick Luxe Shine in the shade Master Sweet. So this is a peach toned nude. And if you guys watch my channel, you know that I'm not a huge nude lip person. I just, I don't know. I feel like sometimes it makes me look a little bit dead. It doesn't pop. It doesn't feel as like juicy looking. It just it's just not my thing usually. This is a different story. This might be one of my favorite nude lipsticks I have ever found. And I love the formula of this. It is so hydrating. It just glides on. You guys know I'm all about this trend of just like a hydrating sort of balm-like lipstick. I also feel like, you know, my lips look a little bit plumped when I use this. It's a very, very cushiony formula. I just can't get over the shade. I just think it is so incredibly gorgeous. I do think that anyone could wear this. It's really universally flattering. It's like natural, but also kind of sexy and glamorous at the same time. Oh, I just love it. Okay guys, so that wraps up my June favorites. Wow, that was a mouthful. I I know I'm supposed to cheer something and I know this is a little bit of an upset but I refuse to cheers anything because I literally cannot decide like it's impossible sorry you're just gonna have to decide on your own I guess why don't you tell me what you would have cheers in the comments that's actually what I want to know you guys stay safe out there and cheers till next time bye